Hi everybody, this is Umair. I'm back with another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an illusion effect inside Adobe Photoshop. So you can see that I have this file, all right? And I have two layers in this file, layer one and layer zero. On the layer zero, I have this image, the dog image. And on the layer one, I have this cat image, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine these two images so that when we see the resulted image, from a far away from a distance we see the dog image and when we come closer to that image we see the cat image we I'm not gonna change any pixels this is the structure of our eye that how we see images how we see things in the real world all right we see the high frequency pixels of those things which are closer to us and we see low frequency pixels of those images which are far from us all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show this cat image at a closer look. So I'm gonna enable the high frequency pixels and remove the low frequency pixels of this cat image. So I will select this layer, I will go to filter, other high pass frequency pixels. Now I will set the radius to 5 and click OK. Now I'll come to this layer and I will remove the high frequency pixels from this dog image. So what I will do is I will click this, I will go to blur and I will select the Gaussian blur. I will set the same radius as that was uh, in the layer one. All right, I will click OK. Now this is the layer that has high frequency pixels and this is the layer that have low frequency pixels. All right, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna click this layer and I will overlay this image. All right, and then I'm gonna select this layer one. I'm gonna slide it a bit down. All right, so if you enlarge your YouTube video, then you will see that you are looking at this cat image, 80%, all right? Uh, it will not work 100% because uh, pixels of both the images are over there. So uh, we have to compromise something. So uh, what you are looking at is uh, you are looking at the cat image 80% now I'm gonna zoom out of this resulted image uh, and as I will zoom out and keep on zooming out you will start looking at the dog all right so I will click on start and let's see so at this level I'm looking at the dog and I'm I can't see the cat here if I see this image at the first time then I would say, say that this is the dog uh, and if I zoom in again and again I can see the cat image so this is how you can combine two images and what you can do is you can uh, post this image as a profile picture on any social media so what people do is people will search for you uh, and uh, they will see the search results and they will look at the different image and unless they don't open it and see it at a large level so uh, there are many things that you can make uh, fun out of it uh, so one thing more that uh, after getting the idea from this effect from Photoshop uh, I decided to make an application for that uh, I'm a software developer as well so uh, I decided to make an application that should be available on desktop and mobile as well so nowadays I think that everybody have a Windows uh, system most of the people Windows 10 systems so I'm using Windows 10 as well so I did I decided to make a Windows 10 application so I have developed this application which is published today so I'm gonna show it to you now uh, if you don't have Photoshop then you can use that application to combine two images you can combine two faces of your friend and your own as well uh, two animals two objects all right there are some recommendation and best practices that I'm gonna show it on my application so I'm going to my to my store Windows 10 store and I'm gonna search imagine pick all right uh, then this is my application all right uh, you can see that it has published now and I'm gonna install it <coughs> all right it's getting installed so let's see how much time it takes it's not too la large it's just about uh, 3.7 MB all right I'm gonna give 
some updates to it. There are some things that are missing now, but still this is in a working condition. So I'm going to open it. All right. So if you first time install this application, you will see some recommendations. So what I will do is I have introduced my application. I'm going to uh, combine these two images and after processing it, if I look this image at the uh, closer look, I see this image. Okay. If I zoom out this resulted image, I would see this first image. So let's see what's next. Uh, so what you can do is I have combined those two images with this face and the cat. Uh, I have searched uh, my profile on the Twitter and what I see here is the cat image uh, unless I don't open it. If I open it, I would be amazed to see this child face. All right. So I will go to the next. There are some best practices. All right. Uh, so for this application, both the images should have same size. It will not allow you uh, to use this application if you have different sizes image. So, so before uploading two images onto this application, make sure that you convert those images into the same size all right uh, and other uh, recommendation is both the images should have same contrast and brightness you can see uh, this is the example this is correct and if i if one image is uh, more dark or more light than the other image then it will not work fine both the images should have same contrast and brightness all right go to the next uh, so tips for best results what you can do is uh, i'm I'm gonna combine this killer whale with this ship. So you can see that uh, after combining these two images, I can see a better result if the character inside the images are almost at the same positions. It will work fine. It will also work if there are different positions, but it will not give you the best result. Um, this is correct and this is not correct because this is not a complete cycle uh, and this is a complete bike. All right, so let's see next. So what is the best tip? Uh, it will not just work on the screen, on mobile screen or desktop screen. It will also work if you take the print out of that resulted image from your system uh, or right, from a printer. Uh, so if you take a print out and see that paper from a distance, you will see the first image. And uh, if you uh, get closer to that resulted image, you will see the second image. Uh, so let's see what's inside this app. Let's start. All right. Uh, this is the interface for my application uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, two images. All right. And uh, I'm going to take the same images. First one is the cat and the second one is the dog. Uh, these two images are of same sizes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this button to convert it. Uh, so it is getting converted uh, now one thing is missing I have to add the progress bar right here which is missing which I'm gonna um, up give update of this application very soon so you can see that this application have combined these two images what you can see now uh, this is the cat all right um, if I'm not wrong I'm looking at a very large now I'm gonna use this slider uh, to zoom out unless I see the dog so I think that this is the dog. Uh, this, the pixels are not getting changed. Uh, it is just the structure of eye that we are looking at. at. All right. So this is how you can uh, make your friends amazed with this amazing effect. All right. It has another interface. If we get it smaller, this is the interface that will work on mobile. Uh, and uh, the, both interfaces will work on desktop as well. All right. Uh, so make sure you like my video and or uh, make sure you download this application if you are using Windows 10 on your mobile uh, or on your desktop and uh, don't forget to review uh, and rate this application I really need it I have just tried it uh, and I have accomplished it uh, so I hope that you have liked this tutorial this amazing effect actually this is officially called the hybrid image effect if you search it on google then you will find its algorithm that how does this thing work uh, so i hope that you have liked it don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to share this video and share my windows 10 application with your friends uh, see you in the next video thank you